Special report anchor Brett Baer is live in Milwaukee ahead of tomorrow's Republican National Convention. He joins us now. Brett, you've seen a lot of things. You've covered a lot of things. Uh, we didn't didn't see this coming. Or did we? Did or not did see this we? coming. Or Good morning. <laughs> or did we? Yeah. I tell you. Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, you guys have been talking about a lot of things, about uh, worries about this. I'm on the floor of the convention uh, site, and as you can see, they're getting ready, final preparations, um, and the stage behind me, and then up in the corner, you can see our Fox News booth. That's uh, so, uh, Shannon Bream, just uh, Fox News Sunday. Uh, everybody's getting ready. I walked into, um, I ran into the RNC chairman, uh, Watley, this morning. He said everything's going to go forward. Uh, that they are really stepping up security, and I can testify to that. It took us a long time to get through the lines to get here uh, this morning, so the security is already noticeably different. You know, listen, this convention is going to be different after what happened yesterday. Um, there already was this sense that the Trump campaign, the former president, was going to make a pitch about strength versus weakness. And that was kind of the, the pitch going in. Uh, it fits into this. The, the strength after that picture, after that moment, after what happened, and that indelible image of him putting his fist in the air uh, has really galvanized a lot of Republicans uh, we've talked to, uh, saying that this was uh, a moment of strength in, in the worst moment possible. So expect that to be a theme now that they really hit on. They were already going to hit on. Dana White was going to introduce uh, and may be the introduction to the former president uh, saying that he is the strongest guy he's known and obviously Dana White, the head of the UFC. I, I think really what your last conversation was really important about where this investigation goes, what we know about this shooter, what it, exactly we're finding out day to day. You know, a lot of uh, different media have been focused on that he's a registered Republican. They leave out the fact that he donated uh, to a progressive cause, just a small donation at the inauguration day 2021. There's very little online presence about this guy, Thomas Crooks, uh, and he's 20 years old. So we have a lot to learn in coming hours and coming days. Um, but here, as far as the politics goes, there's a sense of galvanizing and moving behind the former president like we really haven't seen um, in, in a number of weeks. You know, it does feel a bit and I'm not suggesting it's crass on your part because we have to go there. It does feel crass to talk politics in this moment, but it's an inherently political act, isn't it, Brett? And its impacts are going to be huge when it comes to politics. And, you know, I wonder, Brett, two things. Uh, Pete and I and Rachel have all been talking about, does it undercut the central Democratic theme of his reelection campaign, that Donald Trump's a threat to democracy? You can't keep this kind of rhetoric up. And secondarily, all of a sudden, that image, that image alone right there, I think it galvanizes more than the base. I have to wonder how it affects independents. Yeah. Listen, I think the former attorney general, Bill Barr, coming out and saying that mm -hmm. this is really something the Democrats should not be talking about, the threat to democracy, uh, because it is fueling a lot of... of fervor against the former president and his supporters. The other side says tone it down on the other side. Uh, the bottom line is that this changes this race. I know politics talking about this after this, it's all about digesting what happened yesterday. Talking to the Trump people, that's what they're doing today. The former president, we're told, is in great spirits, and uh, we should hear from him soon. Yeah. Well, he is a fighter. Well, Brett Baer, thank now. you. People can check out Special Report live from the RNC in Milwaukee today through Thursday. Brett, thank you yeah, very much. So.